Hi guys, welcome back to Lil's Takes, the podcast. Um, I have got Cody with me today. So over there, give him a wave. Lovely. So um, I don't know when this one's going to come out. You might have seen Cody before, you might have not. Um, if probably you have, not. <laughs> probably not. Um, Cody had a combined three minutes of air. No, we're not. That's not how we're going to take project it. this to, today. To this isn't the vibe. No, Cody was on Love Island this season. Just and about. I am the worst person to podcast with you because I have not watched this season and I, I hate myself for it as well because this is the season I've been like most involved in meeting other people and I'm so out of touch. Was it a good season? Did you enjoy yourself? Um, yeah, I had a short but sweet <laughs> stay. It was um, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a good opportunity. Um, That's the way you got to see it. Yeah, it was one of them things that you get given an opportunity and you take it. And got sometimes it. it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. So. But you know what? You'd be a fool not to. Exactly. You'd be stupid. Exactly. But so on to bigger and better things now. Obviously. Yeah. On the one and only <laughs> podcast. <laughs> this is best, thing, best thing that's come of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to take that. <laughs> Brilliant. So we were talking about this a little bit a second ago. What do you want to sort of like come out of your social media presence now? What do you want to do with this? Now you've got this this sort of stage for me so I've always been into like my fitness and wanting to like help people mm. and I feel like for me that's a really good direction I can go into I know everyone says generic or fitness PT <laughs> but no I genuinely do want to go down that avenue and I've really that side of like social media where you go and interview people ask about mm-hmm. their different scenarios this and that. I just yeah. love getting to know people new people and talking to them yeah And that kind of rebrand is, that's what I'm going for. Obviously it's in the works, I'm getting there. But yeah, I just want to help people and get better. I'm still very, I've always been involved in like charity work. And Mm -hmm. I think now I've got a platform to do that and talk about it. That's one thing I want to use for as well. Like I've done a lot of challenges, like I've done the London Marathon in March. I've done a few. Oh wow, that's so hard. I don't (laughs) know how I've done it. Like I stopped drinking like three weeks before. I was like, (laughs) but yeah, done it in, it weren't the best three hours. 58? I have no idea. So I that could that's be okay. fabulous. <laughs> Don't judge me. That's, that's great. <laughs> yeah. But, and then like, so I've just, I wanted to, I always want to set myself a challenge each year or two mm. to go and conquer and oh, create that's so good, good So like, I think genuinely that's one thing I do want to utilise my following oh, yeah. for as well. That I definitely do so well as well. Yeah. People, people love charity. No, but that's such a good way to focus like yeah. your energy and, and what you've got going on gym talk such a massive thing it's as well. huge isn't that it is i feel you've thing. got to be very unique to it though and i think if you're going to do it you've got to do yeah. it right you can't do it half hard but that's like anything yeah like. that definitely but i don't i don't know i don't know if i say this from a girl's perspective i don't see many male gym talk people but i think that's because i'm a girl so i see a lot yeah, of girl FYP gym talk people very, yeah. i see all have you seen james beard well no yeah yeah, yeah. he's killing it Who's that? yeah he's he, how do you explain it? He's, he's, like, he's a gym he, guy. He's basically <laughs> Zeus. He he's gym. natural. That's the thing yeah. that makes him uh, a bit right. different. He's a funny that. guy and he just interacts. With, he's absolutely killed it. Like, oh, well, that's going to be you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, well, I wonder. That's going to be, I forgot to mention, we've got Megan. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, uh, behind the mic. We've got Megan mic. on the producer <laughs> mic. If you hear a chiming in. <laughs> so to give, us, to give us some little pointers and prompts. Of course. Chime in whenever she likes. Oh, I've done that so many times. I usually tip on you. I haven't done that yet today, so we're doing well already. But yeah, no, I think that's so good to like come out of Love Island, move away from it and have something set that you're going to yeah. move on to. It's nice to have goals to work towards. Exactly, that's what I wanted as well. Like At first, you're, you're a bit lost as well. When you come oh, out, yeah. you're a bit like, ooh, what do I do now? Mm. And I was like, you know what? Do something I've always been involved in and love, and that's focusing on the gym, keeping fit. And yeah. It's the very much like the interview side as well. Like I'm really, I'm looking forward to like that. And yeah. I'm starting like a new series. I'm going to different universities. Yeah, I was and, just going to say that you're yeah. doing your little university series. That looks like so much fun. Yeah. Well, we've done the first one in Manchester. Mm-hmm. That was good. Just trying to work with it and see what works, yeah. what doesn't work. And yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. And we're looking forward to like meeting new people in different unis. Because yeah. I feel like people, they go to the open days at university and they hear through word of mouth, where's the best place to go, but you never actually... Oh yeah, I had no idea uni. until I moved to uni. I didn't know what was good and what wasn't exactly. good. Exactly, and it's like, you can kind of get a gist of, oh, is this my kind of place, yeah. is it not? And obviously all not all student nights out are carnage. Oh yeah. 
but Hell. it's what kind of carnage you want, <laughs> yeah. I guess. No, that's good though, because you can take that anywhere as well. Yeah, Obviously, exactly. there's unis all over the country. You can take that up to Scotland. And, no. and I think you'll find, like, as you start doing it and as it like, grows, people are going to be asking you to come to their uni. They're gonna that's like, what, yeah. Come and do Bristol. Come yeah. do Cardiff. So, uh, yeah, we're, good. we're doing, I think we're doing Nottingham next. Mm, so that's good filthy. Old, good old Nottingham. Nah. We'll be there. If you know me, you know I, I live quite relatively close to Nottingham. I never make it to the clubs ever. <laughs> That's shocking. No, because the bars are so good. Yeah, true. The bars true. are really. It is a good place. It's one of. Oh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite night out. Mm. But I would never find my missus there. No. Never. You don't find. You don't find your forever person in Nottingham. We love the Nottingham ladies. <laughs> but... Up the Nottingham. Yeah. <laughs> Up the NG postcode. Is it NG one? Isn't that a club? NG one. Wouldn't know. I think it is NG's postcode Nottingham. Oh. But yeah, no, it's not a place where you find your missus. But it well, it might be. Depending you never on know, yeah. Who knows? You never know. No, last time I went to Nottingham, we did pub golf. Oh, lovely. No, oh, it, it was wasn't. Not... I have never... <laughs> no, that's where you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> I have never been that hammered in all my life. And still, I don't know. You got PTSD from it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... Been there. You know, when you do pub golf and it was like, I had to down a large glass of white wine and then at the next place, down half a pint of cider. Rough. Hell. Rough. It was awful. The Otley run done me in Leeds. That oh, was... the Otley runs. That's so long though, isn't it? Isn't that like... 24? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. 24. Silly. No one needs yeah. to go to that many bars. When it's Magic Mike. Pretty basic, but it well, was a last minute fit, so it worked. In uni, anything goes as well. Yeah. You know, like socials at Sheffield, the socials. We went to one the other day and the girls were dressed up as lifeguards and the boys were dressed up as swimmers. So the boys just had like speedos on. Have and you, a rubber ring have you and, heard? All that <laughs> and all the girls are dressed as lifeguards with their whistles and their hats so all the boys are like running around the club like pretending to swim and all the oh. girls are like blowing the whistle at them I've heard some it's crazy like, initiations as well which, oh initiation you know the maddest one I heard go on it's a bit crazy but <laughs> so apparently I won't say what uni but and this is true this is factual I, it's being confirmed oh no I'm nervous apparently so they took these lads down to a cellar Stripped them naked, blindfolded them, made them bend over, tickle their bum hole with a cucumber. <laughs> it's got a oh, it's on already it. too far. Yeah. And then make them eat the cucumber after. <gasps> no. Oh, I don't know how true that is, no. but it's. Uh, Who <laughs> thought of that? Who thought? I was not there. No. Just saying. <laughs> Who thought of that, though? Who was like, oh. right? Mate, there's some sick people in this world. I think that is. Pe- I, I couldn't. I bet that was mm. thought of by the boys themselves. But they were like, <laughs> oh, this yeah. is our initiation. Oh, yeah, 1,000% Yeah, no, so it was. Definitely. But no, yeah. imagine sitting there, like, let's just brainstorm what we're going to do <laughs> for the initiation. Quite like creative, fair play to him. Very creative. Yeah. I don't think I could have thought Maybe that Maybe go down on. a creative avenue. Yeah. Like, Maybe they do creative writing at uni. And they decided, <laughs> yeah. you know what? This is going to be, I'm going to use that in my sports oh. initiation. Brilliant. Um, no, I can't. I never joined a society. I, I joined Boy. the I joined the history society. Oh, no. actually, <laughs> quick question for you. Yeah. Since you do history, yeah. what's your favourite historic moment in all time? <laughs> um, I actually don't know. I, I really like. This is going to sound like such a cop out. Everyone that does history says this. I don't know if you know. Um, everyone loves modern history, so I love like COVID. No, uh, <laughs> that's very modern. But I, I mean, like, that's modern though. Modern. Yeah, no, that is modern. That will be. That's going to be everyone's source question in ten yeah. years. Is going to be that does history GCSE? Then um, P paragraphs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh, you've got it already. That's basically that's what it. I do. <laughs> um, but I, I love like modern history, um, epidemics like Spanish flu. So interesting. I'm doing my dissertation on slavery and the history of slavery in the USA, and what's really interesting is like. The way we were awful, <laughs> like English and Europeans, yeah. we were horrible people to everyone in the globe. Um, but we took diseases everywhere and just like, we turn up at an island full of people that have never met white people before. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then we'd go in, give one person a disease and kill off the entire community and then just take the land. Oh my Horrid. God. So they wouldn't use like guns and swords and that. They'd just give them flu. No, yeah. So that's basically COVID. By accident, but... That's what the people done. They created COVID to yeah. kill off the people. It was, it's, it's all of, 
That's, I wouldn't say no, con- no, it's a conspiracy <laughs> theory. Controversial. Okay, so what we've learned is Cody is a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, All right, that's conspiracy. what you think. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah. So I love, I don't know. Let me. Cheetahs? Tudors is very interesting. Mm. Vikings are pretty cool. Vikings very interesting. I went I went into uni wanting to do ancient. I wanted to do like Egypt and Rome and Ooh. but I did Rome. I've done Rome. Oh. So much Rome. What's your Roman Empire? Oh my god, I was thinking about this yesterday. I did have a Roman Empire and I can't remember what it is. My Roman Empire is that I think about all the time how lucky I am to be born in this century in this country. <laughs> Sometimes I lie in bed and I'm like, wow, aren't I lucky to be born in England? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, okay. <laughs> Weird. No, it is a free, England is a pretty cool place, to be fair. No, but like, yeah, imagine, imagine be, like this century as well. Do you ever like try and think what someone else like in the other side of the world is doing and looking through that? Like, I've, I sometimes, mm. this is me being weirder, but like, I think like, what about, what's a person doing now in Japan yeah. and try and look what they're seeing through their eyes? Oh my God, person. that's quite interesting, actually, to think about. Do you ever think, like, I think, raw like, that some guys are probably eating <laughs> some noodles, even noodles in Japan and he's like, and then I'm just here, like, looking at Big Ben. Like, I don't know. Right, Big Ben is quite far away from Liverpool. Yeah, but, like, not right, obviously, <laughs> looking at beautiful Megan in front of me. Oh, he's also lost. Uh, <laughs> no, but, yeah, no, that's actually... I know. That's weird, quite a... Weird thought. Ma- I think like, like a mind a spin. Yeah, it really fucks with your head. No, what I think... <laughs> I've got cousins in New Zealand and I went to visit them like the start of this year. And now all I think about is like, they're still living there in that house yeah. in New Zealand. And they're like, what time is it right now? So it's 20 past four. So it's 20 past four in the morning right now. They're all smuggled in bed, just chilling in there. I'm like, that's so weird to think about. And I'm just chilling doing a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, mad. That is mad. Wow, we've gone on such a tangent. Yeah. But that was interesting. Should we have a confession? Let's do it. Let me, I've got to try and find one we've not already read. Um, oh, this is quite interesting. Well, it's not interesting, but I don't. I, this is uh, I don't know. I'll speak about it once I've said it. I put my arms around what I thought was my girlfriend. Turns out it was her twin sister, and the relationship ended. Oh, that's a bit harsh. That's what I thought when I read it. I thought I understand that I'm going the wrong way. I understand that like you put your arms around the wrong person, it's going to be like oh sorry, like oh. But if they're twins. They're identical. That's well hard. You can't be like, well, I'm going to break up with you because you don't even know what I look like. That's an insecurity there and then, if I'm honest. I know they look the same. Um, yeah. But I think that is very harsh on the bloke. So I feel sorry for you. And I think that that's that's just a... It's a bit of a mis- reflection of her, maybe. Yeah, but yeah. it's a miscommunication. That's like, been blown out of proportion. Was it done on purpose, though? Oh, it wasn't. Yeah. Wait, so she, oh. he went and hugged her like, oh, you're right, mate. How are you going? Was it? Do you think it was used by the girl, his girlfriend, as a way of like getting out of it? Do you know, maybe oh. she wanted to not be You know what, though? Anymore. He could get some banging revenge, though, and use that as an excuse. Oh, yeah, it just slipped in. I thought it was you. But... <laughs> and yes. little Phil, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Grabbed a tit, thought it was your tit. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> what can I up. say? But they say twins can feel. What the other twin fails? Oh, no, like that's telepathy. Oh. Not telepathy. Oh. Oh. Oh, can you imagine that? <laughs> just being a twin sat at home like, <gasps> oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's so messed up. <laughs> she just got oh, too gross. God. That's so weird. <laughs> Someone uh. pinching your eyes be like, <gasps> she's in the club. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no. I no stop that. Yeah, no. Well, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I think you're right. Maybe it was an excuse to just break up. They weren't yeah. feeling it, weren't mixing and matching. Yeah. But yeah, mate. You could get your revenge, sweet. Well, I don't know. Don't take my advice. Don't, do <laughs> don't listen to Kenny. Don't know what's wrong. No, but Each I mean, if you want to, um, I've got another one because this one baffled me when I read it. I was thinking, "You're a brave man." Uh, no, not a brave man. I think it's a girl, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Um, I've got a feeling. It's yeah. Really good. No, it is a girl. I slept with my boyfriend's brother. He has a wife and kids, and no one knows. Did we already say this one? No. no. Wait, no one knows he's got a No, no wife one and knows kids. that they, she slept with him. No, everyone knows he's got a wife. And kids. Oh. He's got a secret wife. Yeah. And, and well, three kids. people live double lives, but yeah, very true. That is a double life. So she's got he's got a wife and kids with her. No, no, no. So Oh my god, he's cheated on his wife. And with kids her. with his si- with his someone's sister. 
Best friend's sister? No, she's cheated on her boyfriend with her boyfriend's brother. And his brother's got a wife and kids. So not only she's cheated on her boyfriend, the brother's cheated on his wife. And, and, his, kids. and, the, and they've got kids. You dirty dog. Why are you telling me this? Like, sort this out. You know what? This should be the Jeremy Carl show. Why don't you guys come on here? Come on here. We'll help it. Yeah. But come and have a seat and I'll tell you what. That's a very outrageous confession. That's, that's You know what? People send me these things. I've said this before. You couldn't torture this information out of me. That's mad. I was going to say that, has anyone, has it circled back to the wife or the girlfriend ever? I'm, She's going to know now. I'm going to yeah. send him you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all these, all these, People are going to be like, oh my People God. People forget as well. We know when they DM me on Instagram, I can I see them. I can't do that with the guilt either. No, no, especially seeing your boyfriend and then going to family events, brothers Imagine, there, boyfriends oh, there, wives oh, there. Oh, do you want to just hold the baby? Oh yeah, by the way, I'll put it in your mum. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Mate, that's rough. I could never do that. Like you never shit where you eat. That's why. That is so. I hate that saying. No, that's not awful saying, but that's so it's true. It's so true. I've done, I've done it in workplace. Don't do it. I'm going to say workplace is a big one. Learned my lesson. Never again. Got completely grilled in front of every, all my colleagues. Was not a pretty Had look. Had to quit. Did you quit? No. <laughs> she, <laughs> she actually apologised to me after because really? I was like, I went to work. I'm never speaking to you again. Fair me. enough. Have so, you ever been so horrible to someone <laughs> that you, like, in a relationship that you've had to apologise after or like to an ex, if you love out with someone so bad and been like, actually, I shouldn't have done that. You know what? No, because what I say, I stick to. That's good. You know what? I stand by what I say, and if I mean it, I mean it. Take yeah. it with a pinch of salt or get hurt by it. And I know that's a mean thing to say, but, and obviously some things we say, I'll never speak out of anger. Yeah. I'll never speak when I'm angry because yeah. I like to think, and it's got me in trouble before where I've mm. been like, oh, I've said to a, a girl, I've said something like I didn't mean, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. And then obviously yeah. I've apologised, but you you not off the top of my head. News, I try to think, but. When you're pissed, you don't really think, do you? That's a great point. But then you and don't remember either. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm pissed, do I don't need drink? to think. Yeah, don't shit where you eat. Lessons with Cody. Yeah, that is... Uh, yeah, I've had friends who have had, like, found relationships in the workplace and I've always thought, like, that just seems dangerous to me. Yeah. That seems like you can lose so much. But then, like, it's the risky element, in it? It's the danger. The danger. <laughs> it's the... Can't stay away from do the danger. Do in the back room. Okay. <laughs> Everything we go we go through, Cody's like, and then no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'd love to talk further about this, but we've got to do a really very quick podcast this Sorry. session. But it's been nice having it a little has chat been with lovely. you. Lovely, lovely to see you again. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Oh, me and Cody have met before, but I didn't actually tell you on this. We have we've met at Leeds. It's not the just Leeds a random. Gang. Leeds gang. If I you saw cry, it, I, it was you. I cried too. Yeah. When yeah, you watched Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish cried. Yeah. She, he did cry a little bit. Just a little, just a little. But it's Billie Eilish. Yeah, it was just we the were... music got to me. Not like I can relate. It to was really sad. It was so sad. Yeah, it was. Shout out Billie Eilish. And I didn't gonna... even listen to her music. It was just more like, what was it, Ocean Eyes? Yeah. It was Ocean Eyes. That's why, yeah. Oh, God. It was, <laughs> can, yeah, can, is that it like, was rough. Holding a bottle of wine. And you were like. <laughs> I was, I was wine like, drunk. Right. That was, it was, it I was, was the wine, wine drunk. It was we'll the blame wine. it on the wine. Wine always. So we'll, um, we'll end it on the note that Cody cries at Billie Eilish. Thank you for sharing that with us, Katie. It's a safe no space. Anytime. Um, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having the me. The show, like I'm on telly. Coming <laughs> <laughs> on the Graham ITV. Norton. <laughs> the new Graham Norton. But yeah, thank you for sending your confessions and dilemmas in as well, guys. If you want to send in any more, send them either to my Instagram on DM or you can email them to me at lilstakespod at gmail.com. And if you want to let me know who, are, like if you want some, to see some new people on the show, if you want me to... I don't know, talk about something in particular, definitely let me know and we'll try and cover that for you. But thank you and I will see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.